He's not, quote, a tech villain. He uses technology, but he uses technology as a means by which to express an essentially demonic nature. That he could have been around in the music hall in the 1920s. He could have been the character in folklore that you met at a crossing on your way to market and who cut you a deal. Hi guys, how are you? Hello, hello, Hi, hello. Tatiana. I like your backdrop. Yeah. Thank I, you. I yeah, like your movie. I recognize that guy. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, I thought he looked familiar when I was watching. Uh, but <laughs> I was a little confused because for parts of it, he wasn't in London. And I was like, Luther takes place in London. So weird. Um, so Jamie, what was it like to approach scenes with a much uh, wider scope and a colder one at that? You know, you said Luther takes place in London. And I love it that you've developed a fond affection for Lutherland. But even though that the Luther story up to this point has taken place within a, a certain section of London, Lutherland itself is as big or as small as we want it to be. And it's it's the quality of the place that, that holds the story. It, it makes it part of Lutherland or not. And I think going from these, these shadowy, noir-filled streets into a, you know, that's full of secrets, lots of places to hide, into a space at this part of the story when there's a lot of mistrust between uh, Rain and Luther, a space where there is nowhere to hide, where the, both of them are so exposed. Um, it was a new part of Lutherland to explore um, because of that. So yeah, it was, a, it was a lot of fun to be in that landscape. Roby is also fun in like a really nasty, horrible way. Uh, and Neil, <laughs> I wonder uh, where in the deep recesses of your mind do you find the inspiration for your villains? He springs kind of, kind of sort of crawled out of the wet mass of my brain at four o'clock in the morning. When I, when I wake up full of terror, um, that's where these people come from. They, 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 they crawl out of the wet mess behind my eyes and, uh, and sit whispering on my shoulder for the next six months. And th there's something about, what I like about Roby is that he's not, quote, a tech villain. He uses technology but he uses technology as a means by which to express an essentially demonic nature. That he could have been around in the music hall in the 1920s. He could have been the character in folklore that you met at a crossing on your way to market and who cut you a deal of some kind. He's an essentially folkloric creature, I think. I also loved the fight scenes uh, throughout the film. Uh, especially in the second half. And I was wondering, Jamie, if there was any scene that was most challenging to shoot or, you know, to block in any way. I think the Piccadilly Circus sequence was the most challenging because I think it had a million different parts to it. And it, you know, uh, I think that was, but it's also the most fun because, you know, you read a sequence like that on the page and then you add your own layer of ambition to it. And then you get given the space to actually prep it and explore it. And then Westminster, who knew that Westminster Council were going to give us Piccadilly Circus for that amount of time? They've never done it before. So, you know, it was an extraordinary, after directing television for 20 years, you know, developing a set of skills that that allows um, to actually unleash those skills and that ambition in a sequence like that. Um, yeah, that, that was extraordinary. Uh, that was an awesome sequence. Uh, Neil, one thing that I thought was interesting was when Luther brings up his wife when they're talking about what they have lost. Uh, and one person who was not maybe mentioned was Alice. Uh, where is Alice currently in the recesses of Luther's mind? She's in the corner. She's watching us right now. Uh, she knows we're talking. Um, Alice, Alice is a really important character to me. Uh, she's real to me in a way which I suspect is not entirely healthy psychologically. I can tell you, for instance, she genuinely comments on the news as I'm watching it. So Alice filters the news for me. And of course, she's always around. And of course, I would love you guys to meet her again. I too would love that. Oh, <laughs> but thank you both so much. I really enjoyed the film and I hope to see uh, many more. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a great day. Nice to talk. Bye-bye.